This has not been a good day for the MAGA. And I'm loving it. I'm loving every single bit of it. Firstly, Sidney Powell, one of Donald Trump's lawyers, pleaded guilty to reduce charges th- today, one day before her trial was set to begin. The rat took the cheese. And that trial I'm talking about is, of course, the 20, the Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the loss in 2020 in Georgia. So, the rat took the cheese. And if I'm Sidney Powell right now, I'm throwing out every conspiracy theory and telling the truth about Donald Trump. One lie, she goes to prison. And Donald Trump, I know is probably sweating bullets about this. As for the vote to become the new Speaker of the House, there was no third vote. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, um, Jordan decided to back out of the, of the third vote. Now, mind you, he hasn't backed out of the race. He's just not calling for a third vote, knowing the fact that he doesn't, still doesn't have the votes to become House Speaker because 20 and 21 Republicans, 21 being, of course, the second vote tally, of Republicans are voting against him. He doesn't have the votes to become Speaker of the House. And he knows it. So, <laughs> it's just it's just chaos with the Republican Party, but that's who they are. And, um, and here's the thing. Here's the joke to all of this. Marjean Taylor Green says that the Republican conference is broken. No shit, you dumb whore. You dumb Trump whore. It is broken. And who is the one who broke it? It wasn't the Democrats. Oh, no. As much as I would love to see the Democrats break the Republican Party, it wasn't the Democrats. It was people like you. Adding a fool day in and day out trying to justify everything that you want Donald, that Donald Trump wants you to do, you're the one who broke the conference. And quite honestly, <laughs> it's all, by, all because of you. You did it all to yourselves. If you had just stopped and do your damn job and stopped screaming about how Now, Joe Biden's this, Joe Biden's that, Hunter Biden's this, Hunter Biden's that. Maybe you would have support. And maybe you might be able to stop stop people like me from calling you Trump whores. But that's all you are, Trump whores. The world is on fire right now with everything else is going on. We still have the war in Israel. We still have what's going on in Ukraine, thanks to Vladimir Putin, the man you all support. Thanks because of Donald Trump supporting him. And now we have all this crisis that's going on in the world without the Speaker of the House. We still have to worry about the, the government shutting down next month in November. And you guys can't even elect the Speaker of the House. Because you're worried about antagonizing Donald Trump. This is the reason why we don't trust you. This is the reason why we can't look at you and see Americans. We look at you, I look at Jim Jordan, I look at Mary Jean Taylor Greene and the rest of the MAGA, and I see nothing more than would-be terrorists. The same kind of terrorists that attacked attacked Israel uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I went there. So shoot me. Here are the facts, Republicans. MAGA. We're in this mess, because not because of Joe Biden or the Democrats. We're in this mess because of you. Your refusal to work with America. Your refusal to work for America. And your only option, your only uh, uh, purpose 
is to find some way of appeasing Donald Trump. That's all your minds are on. I'm not going to do this unless Donald Trump tells me to. I'm not going to do this because I'm afraid Donald Trump is going to be angry at me and go on Truth Social, which is failing, by the way. But that's another story for later. That's all you're focused on. People are suffering in this country. People are suffering in the world. And you guys can't even govern. One of your, one of your man's lawyers is about to talk. And quite honestly, that could probably be the nail, the final na- one of the final nails in the coffin for Donald Trump in the Georgia case. One of your biggest, one of your biggest um, people who wants you, who want be, wants to become Speaker of the House, is dropping out. Is not calling out any other, any more votes because he's terrified he's going to get humiliated again. In the end of the day, you are responsible for this MAGA. Not the Democrats, not people like me. Who who? Here's a joke to all of this. I've been accused of loving Hamas, of supporting Hamas, all because I don't support the Republican Party. I don't support the the MAGA. And that's par for the course for these bastards. They can't argue a point, so they make one up. I support terrorism against Israel or against the United States because I don't vote Donald Trump or MAGA. Enough is enough. The people who are terrorists in this country are the MAGA. And now they're being called to account. CTP, you know the truth. God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.